Connor's in the backfield, and this was part of the plan to see if Voitek could make them pay with a little gun run stuff, and he does by picking. But he's going to have to give him a little variety. Pressure coming off the edge. Voitek pulls it and eludes a tackler, and it's a positive run. I want Chad to be able to turn himself loose and just play, not worry about being a perfectionist. First touch of the night for Tyler Boyd. Boyd looking for the corner in the first down. One lowers in. Paul Crisp, former offensive coordinator at Wisconsin. This set very Wisconsin looking as Connor breaks a tackle, gets to the outside, and he's let the clock tick down. Now, you're not going to have to worry a lot about tempo tonight with either team, but particularly with Pittsburgh and Voitek. Didn't get rid of it in time, and down he goes. And the team that has been his ball over the joint, not just linebackers, but defensive linemen as well. And inside, number 96, it's Corey Marshall. He is an excellent pass rusher in one-on-one -on -one situations. If you're Voitek in this game, your clock has to go off against this Quick. pass rusher. Zach of the season, second most in college football and it lost 10 so they'll try to get some of it back with another quick screen to Boyd. Boyd has 10 maybe 12 so outside and, and Boyd right now in the slot with no one over top of him. You see him right here. Boyd's it's got heat coming from behind him and you make the corner and open the football's loose. It went down and Derek DiNardo jumped on it. It was stopped on its opening possession. Pitt had a little something going before Boytick fumbled on the scramble. They go to James Conner, circle button, and he picks it up out to the 30-yard line. The drop-off in his production has resulted in the last three. Back to Conner, and he's hit immediately by Kenny Canham. Conner, good running room off the left side. He's up close to the 40-yard line. It'll be a yard one. You betcha. Connor there goes. moves the pile, first down Panthers. Push up front, but look, loaded box on defense. There's no mystery. Downhill, put your head into somebody's back and drive those legs. Run blitz at Connor, and this time they knock him down in the backfield. Now Voitich's going to run it. Design quarterback run. Voitich across the 40. This one. They've run 11 of their 13 plays so far, but now they're going to try to throw it and pick up the first down. Voitek, down the middle of the boy. What a catch by Tyler Boyd, and he's gone. Touchdown, Pitt. 11, Kendall Fuller. And who is going to win matchups? This is just a simple seam rod, David. Number 23 comes away with this win. And look at Fuller. He's he's outside. He's taking the outside of Boyd. He's expecting help. Well, be a good one on Saturday night. In Tallahassee now some throwback as Tyler Boyd caught a touchdown pass and now he throws it to Boytick. He is in the Virginia Tech territory inside. And here you go, getting the ball in the hands again of one of your big time playmakers, Boyd, who you don't see a lot line up at running back. That should have been an alert for Virginia Tech defensively. Wow. Boytick, who endeared himself to this staff, he was a terrific start tonight. Chris James is in it running back now for the Panthers. He'll be a lead blocker for Boyton, but nobody blocked anybody well enough. Step up in early, Corey Marshall doing a great job. Remember, he had the sack already in the pass game. And you see right here, he's lined up right there. Doesn't get blocked. Two guys attempt, and he gets in the backfield and makes the playoff. This Virginia Tech defense is one of the fast. Lead James in. They'll go back to Boyd. Boyd. Get it down to the 15. There is a flag that came. He's on fire. Rashid Ibrahim is the speed back, and Virginia Tech's defense is now clean. On third and 25, maybe just trying to get him back in field goal range. And he missed. He made it tough against quarterbacks who are seeing his defense for the first time, as Voidick is. And Connor picks up maybe one. In the headset, Scott Leffler, the offensive coordinators, they try to get something going. But important now, as Pitt starts with a second and nine, that they take advantage of this good field position they had. And try to get him outside the pocket, make the reads easy. Look at 23, if he's open, trying to throw it to him. He had a chance to throw it to him there. They pin Virginia Tech back. At the point. Now they're going to be out of field goal range as Boyd it gets sacked and that's one of the things you were talking about just on time and, and you know obviously this is a very talented Virginia Tech defense we talked about the clock that has to go off and he's got Gardner again from the left side of his screen number 82 
coming in on an in route, and then this ball has to come out. You have to understand, playing this this defense, and they got some guys that get after you. Pretty sure I saw Bruce Smith over on the sidelines applauding that last play. Here they come. He cat him off the corner. Voigt going deep, giving his man a chance. And he just to be able to keep a grip on the football. Handles that snap cleanly. They go to the freshman, Chris James, as he picks up. Second down and three. Again to the left, so the handoff with the right hand, and James picks up maybe third down and two. Go to Connor. He's looking for room and not finding any. And then the football comes out late. And Virginia Tech has it. Chuck Clark. Second points of pressure, tucking it in. The Voitic on the first play, a flag comes out. They were going to try to take a shot immediately after the turnover. And Voitic scampers and fight for the coastal. You lose it, you start worrying about bowl eligibility. First and 20. Voitic, Boyd's wide open. He's got it. Tyler Boyd and has to come out. He does that right here. On rhythm, one hitch very quickly. The football comes out, giving Boyd an opportunity to make this play. And Fuller's 20 yards off in man coverage. I mean, that's that's an easy pitching, huh? Not playing up as much as they did. They picked up 16 on first down. They went to Connor on second. He runs through a couple of guys, and James and is going to point. pick up one. Third down and three coming. Percentage has been 71 percent, but they'll need to convert the third down to get it here. Connor plowing, Connor on his feet, and he'll score. Pounder just rumbled into the end zone. We talked about how playing a pressure defense, obviously with big people on the field, you're going to get a loaded box, but you can gash them if you break a tackle in the second level or two he, or three. He runs right. The Panthers looking for a home run right before halftime to extend their lead. Chad Boyd. Oh, threw it right to a defensive lineman, Corey Marshall, who dropped into cover. All the bodies near the line of scrimmage, and now watch what he does when you drop a defensive tackle right here out of the middle of the screen. He steps into the center, backs off, turns around, sees the crosser, reads Wojtek's eyes, and the big fella getting the pick. Well, there's a key on that, too. Remember, James Conner wasn't in the lineup. And those wide receivers and those vertical routes that they're going to score on whoever they play. Talked about Virginia Tech having trouble with the snap. Boytick had to handle a high one. Chad took a lot. No more turnovers. Have the rain starting to fall here at Hines Field as Voidick runs it across the 40 and picks up the for him in this offense. Shovel pass. Connor has some running room, and boy, he would have had a whole lot more if not for us. Watch him engage the, the blocker that comes up to him. Right there, he hits 53, gets off of him. And then makes a tackle on a 250 pound running back in space. Otherwise, you might have struck up the band right there. He's only 215 pounds. <laughs> uh, Chase has a great football IQ. His dad is Greg Williams, Rams defensive coordinator. Boyd, it goes back to the run, and this time, not much. they're doing it often. I mean, just look at all those white jerseys close to the line of scrimmage. It's been like that all year long because there's no secret. You've got James Conner in the backfield. Did a good job right here at the top of your screen with the cushion on Fuller and made a big play. Throw it out in the flat to the pass catching running back Rasheed Ebert. Starting to even up a little bit. Virginia Tech had the drive for the field goal earlier in the quarter, but Pitt with good field position down in the pregame, too. I practiced that for quite some time. Else in a one on one situation now has to win. Third down and five. Boydick's got some room to run. Picks up the first down. I Back to the ground to James. I saw Jarrett was there on the edge. It's to play in a rapidly moving third quarter. Boynton, that looks more like quarterback draw. Michael Lafalaka has been acting second year on campus. Getting some crucial playing time. Boynton buying a little time. Now runs out of time as Daddy Nicholas flies to hit on third down. It'll be fourth down. And what for Pitt. And who has not had a rush in the second half is back in the backfield for Pittsburgh. Voitek pulls it and keeps it. Chad Voitek in the hooky territory. Inside the 20. Voitek knocked out of bounds inside the 15. Against the pressure defense, there are no safeties deep. 
if you get into that level, get hats on hats, and whether it's your running back or the quarterback, you can gash this defense on the ground. Hasn't been always James Conner. What about Wojtek tonight, guys, with his legs? Just picked in the red zone. Now Conner. Connor in the end zone, touchdown Pittsburgh. Heinz Field nightmares starting to unfold for the right guard. TJ Clemens, watch what he does to Daddy Nicholas. Just throws him out of the way. And then a great job, Connor, making Jarrett miss. The Panthers leading rusher and second leading receiver tonight. And a 49 yard run the last time Pitt had the ball. Tough to justify running him over and over. He's done so successfully tonight. That shovel pass to Connor that successfully pretty short, short passes. Right. And a lot of quarterback run. Voidick has the first down. Voidick still on his feet and he's knocked down just short of the full tech. Only 36. Now the guy we're expecting to see run it a lot, James Connor. A couple of touchdown Ooh. runs. Center. Artie Rowell, who tore an ACL earlier this year. Look at Connor. Connor still on his feet. Jamar Parrish, go right behind him. 24 gets it. Connor into the secondary, into the red zone, inside the 15. James hey. Connor Parrish. Just look at Big 31 lead the way here. Take you to daylight. Get a smaller body that you're blocking on. And all of a sudden, a lot of these tackles that Virginia Tech was making earlier close to the line is helping. <laughs> Connor. He got him this time. Uh, well, he, <laughs> he made the first hit. He slowed him down enough to let a host of Hokie. More outside with him, more zones. James runs it. There's a flag down. <laughs> Boydick has time, loops it to the end zone, and it goes through the hands of Manasseh. Go Not for the give Virginia Tech a chance to hang in there. Voidick taking another shot, and that was almost intercepted. He's very fortunate. And Voidick kept it on the boot. Voidick across the 30, and he slides down. This time they'll go to Connor and hit the starting to fall again. He's run for seven first downs. This time he can't get away. First down. All game long in the slot. They tried to throw the screen to Ibrahim and